What's good? It's TB here. Brrrah. In today's video, what I'll actually be speaking about are signs to look for to actually identify a good session you've actually had. Let's go. The first step to this whole process is to figure out what you call actually a good session or a good workout. For me personally, I feel as though in a session for me to have actually progressed, I had needed to add weight to the bar to therefore progress and just improve in all of the ways. I think the actual best way to approach this is think about programming and training in the bigger picture and the bigger scale rather than short term, look long term. Each individual session adds together to form the actual result, but one bad session does not mean progress cannot be made or all the subsequent sessions must be bad as well. Finding your own limit on how many sessions per week and how intense those sessions are will allow you to program better for the fatigue, your motivation, and the stress considerations to be able to keep making that consistent progress. Pushing yourself to the limits does require a vast amount of recovery afterwards. And if you actually limit this recovery, you'll get suboptimal results and eventually you will burn out because not enough recovery doesn't allow your muscles to actually repair themselves and become better and stronger. So everyone actually has their own external factors to deal with and so you have to take them into your account and actually figure out what you can fix and what you can't and leave the things you cannot and just try and progress as much as possible and try and limit the external factors to a minimum. All right, let's move on to the misconceptions part from this video. Feelings which are not specifically linked to having a good or better session. Sweat. This is a terrible method to you to actually judge workout performance because of the actual humidity, the level of hydration in the body, the temperature, the genetics of the person and the climate which all affect sweating in humans biologically. Muscle soreness. This is actually as bad or worse than the sweat because it depends on your recovery status, if you stretch or not, or no stretch, or exposed to a new eccentric range of motion, which will therefore make the, ex the said muscle sore. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the good indicators. These are what you wanna be seeing to know you've had a good session. Signs of a good session or a workout for each category of training style. Cardio, having an elevated heart rate between 75 and 80% of your max for 30 minutes or longer is a good indicator of progress for cardio-based training. Hypertrophy. Performing between three to five sets of eight to 12 reps per movement at a one to two reps from failure type of indicator is a key indicator of progress with an increasingly heavier weight as a stressor to the said muscle group. The rate of viewed exertion from very easy to very difficult should be used when deciding how many reps before failure to stop at. Working at your very, very limit at very difficult, one, two, one to two reps away from failure will be classed as a good session in that respect if hypertrophy is your main aim. The actual muscle group will have been hit and will start to recover if the actual stressor is placed on the muscle group, not if you actually sweat. If you do sweat, that's fine. But if you do not, please do not stress. You will still progress. Strength. Sets between one to three and reps between one to five for each movement at a very difficult exertion is a positive measure for progress with an increasingly stressing weight on the muscle group. What I actually like to say to myself is that if I've done the best I can possibly do on that day, and I mean everything, I'll put everything into it and haven't actually slacked, then what more can you do? Hit slash pilometrics. This type of training style is usually very difficult exertion for the actual duration of the, the movement, whatever you're doing. And then a fairly easy recovery rest period to get your breath back. It's very high intensity, fast, slow, fast, slow. The actual aim of the game in the hit or pilometrics is to do your, like your, your very best effort, your max effort in that duration and then recover during your rest periods. But it's your goal to improve each time and maybe complete it faster than the other time or go or actually run faster or, you know, have a shorter duration period of time. So unless rest, that's the main goal with this type of training to actually improve. Calisthenics. Calisthenics is actually very good for learning new movements and new skills. I'm not trying to say it's just to learn a new skill. There are a lot of movements you can learn and you can gain a lot of strength and body weight and actual muscle size from doing calisthenics. But it's also good to just learn new skills and new movements to be able to apply to your other lifts as like a, as like a, like a side duration, side hobby sort of idea. So this type of calisthenics session might be more relaxed than others, but you're still learning, you're still progressing. Don't let that hold you back, these sort of names or what people fucking think. Don't allow it to affect you. Let's move on to the final finishing points. Bow, patience, motivation, and discipline. Patience. 
Training is actually a long-term game and therefore each session will be compounded into the main result you see at the end. It is a better trade to have 100 average sessions than a 10 excellent sessions. Motivation. Do not beat yourself up for not performing in, a, in one session or not being perfect. The matter of the fact is you're performing a hard task and if it's hard, it's going to be difficult. But just please do know that you are one of the few who can actually do this and I believe in you and you should believe in yourself. You don't need me to tell you that, but believe in yourself and you can do it. If you're doing something hard, you've gained my respect. I have respect for everybody. You've got extra respect from me. Discipline. Some sessions may not go to plan and so you'll need discipline to be able to put you back in line and say, do you know what? Maybe I can't use that equipment, but I'm going to make do with what I have and be disciplined and still get the session done. Keep improving session to session with the progressive overload and just be positive because you will get a lot, you get a lot, you'll get a lot further in the long run compared to actually just being negative and looking in short term. Because that's what I say, it's not really actually where you are now. It's where you're actually going to end up in the future is where you should think about and you should think of your future self. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please feel free to actually leave your own experiences in the comments. I'd love to interact and respond to anybody. It's brilliant. I, I appreciate all the love and support. I truly do. It means so much, honestly. You can catch me all on my Instagram, tb underscore SBD, squat bench deadlift. I am on there. Come and interact. Come and message me if you want a plan or just advice in general. I'm always open to anybody. All my doors are open. Come in. We can interact on YouTube, any sort of social media platform, but I'm usually on Instagram. I'll see you all in my next video. It's been TB. Bow. Yeah. Yeah, it's big TB, I really flow. When I pull up on your block, yeah, I really reload. Yeah, I got so much lightning, yeah. See the timing run upon me, got a rolly, yeah, I said that's perfect timing, yeah, the stars are aligning, yeah, they're really shining, pull upon me, I'm real like a fucking pirate, yeah, I got a big new yacht, yeah, it cost a hundred million, I got so many new thoughts, yeah. I ain't with them ops, yeah, they ain't cool When they see me rocking Supreme, they know I'm with the crew Yeah, I'm so green, so black Can't really see, I'm really mad At all these people who wanna take off my hand Yeah, I got my confidence, I level up I've been level zero, now I'm max And they calling me fucked, but I'm tucked Yeah, we're pistol ready Got a fucking new weapon, where's my henny? Yeah, I drink it up, I don't get dizzy, yeah All of these girls, they want this henny They don't drink white wine, they don't want to be tipsy, yeah I said, look at the limelight, yeah, you don't listen I just keep rowing, yeah, I'm in my kayak Yeah, can it do be really flowing, yeah Put me on any beat, and I really do exterminate Run up on my block and you vacate, motherfucker, come back And I switch lanes, AK, that's what I bought last night Bought a piano, and a real fucking try Yeah, run up on me, and I'll really go and take your life